back with some more streaming tonight. Gonna be playing some Lumo tonight. So yeah, we're gonna be uh, checking this game out tonight. It seems like it's kind of like a isometric uh, platformer of some sort. Uh, pretty whimsical. It's got this pretty dope like hip hop beat kind of going in the background and stuff like that. So that's a pretty head not a beat for the most part, so it's pretty dope. Uh, so let's get right into the game. Let's see what we got here. Let's play this game. Yes, let's do a new game. Let's see. So you get, pick, you get two options here. Adventure or old school. So, uh, living in lives, map, save game, exploring your own time. Konnichiwa. Yeah, or old school. Uh, well, let's play old school. Let's, let's fuck all that other shit. Let's go with some fucking old school shit. Pick a character. So I'm either a guy or a girl. It seems. Uh, let's rock the green. All right, let's do that. There are a ton of options in order to get this game even started. So uh, please select controller orientation. Uh, hello. This game's weird. <laughs> it's uh, people saying hello in my ear. Um, let's go. Let's go traditional up, down, left, right. So let's see. We're not going to test. We're going to go right into the game. Oh, okay. Well, you are here. You're a kid running around a, uh, whatever this is. He seems to be in a rush, too. Can't get out, but apparently there, there's a rubber ducky missing. So, uh, let's see how this game plays. This is kind of weird. Okay, so you're in here. Now you're in a, uh, a school of some sort. Do you talk to people? Nope. You do you go to a computer? No. Okay, well, there's an arcade. Got a, apparently like a farming uh, thing and some other things here. Okay. There aren't really a lot of uh, instru- oh, uh, okay. Okay, I guess that was the automatic of it. Oh, so uh, this is uh, kind of like Tron. So apparently you get sucked into this uh, video world. Ah, I'm sure computer one playing this. Okay, so you're this little tiny bunchkin guy with a uh, cool hat. So, that's uh. Okay, here we go. We have three lives and the game's being timed. Let's see how this is. Okay, so these are puzzles, apparently, to solve. Oh, okay. Well, there you go. Next room. I guess go room to room, I guess. Uh, there or there. So, I need a key to go in there. There seems to be a lot of stuff going on, so let's go this way. I like the uh, kind of uh, concept that they give you time, so at least I know how long I'm playing for, for the most part. Okay, there's a... Oh, okay, so... Left and right buttons kind of move your camera ever so slightly, so... That's pretty uh, neat. Okay, so we can't... So there isn't a whole lot you're doing so far in this game besides just uh, kind of running around, roaming around, finding stuff. Oh, okay. Well, here's your first puzzle. Uh, here, so just avoid the fire. Work your way around and go through the door. Okay, now don't step in the poison purple, I assume. I like this isometric uh, view. It's pretty neat. Very much like uh, Diablo, almost, in some ways. Here. Let's go, little guy. I assume later on you'll be able to do things, because there wouldn't just be something there to not do. I feel like there's going to be a lot of backtracking in this game as well. Okay, let's wait for this thing to go down. Climb up. This one's pretty easy so far. But I have a feeling these things are, will do me. Let's see, well, I guess later on I can get that rubber ducky, but I can't get it now. I don't have the proper tools. Okay, here's a little bit of an interesting puzzle. These look like these things go away over the course of time, I'm thinking, but I don't know yet. So let's do a little experiment here. Let's go in there. 
Cut that. Cut that. Cut that. Cut that. Cut that. Cut that. Now, I probably can't get there. I'm not chancing the rubber ducky just quite yet. No, we'll just keep uh, rolling along right here. I, I want that thing. Why can't I get that? Uh, Alright, let's see. Wait, this seems to be like stand here. Yes. Oh, there we go. See? Perfect. So I assume this is going to give me my first item. Give me the green item. Okay, what can I do now? I can jump now! Look at this! Yay! Now I can get to places easier. I got an achievement as well. Now I can use my hat. Collect the agility. Okay, cool. So now I can do things. Cool. Well, at least I can do one thing. I can jump. So, Oh, this thing switched it up a little bit here. So, jump! I assume the rubber duckies are... I don't, know if, I don't know if they're currency or they're just... They are what they are, I guess. It is pretty nice that they switch up the uh, puzzles ever so slightly when you're actually uh, playing backwards. So that's kind of cool. Neat. I want to go up there, but I can't. I'm a little guy. Okay, let's go over here. Let's jump here. Ooh! Okay. Uh, let's not do that yet. Backtracking. I don't know how far we're back backtracking, but we're definitely backtracking. Jump for it. Yes, that was a lot quicker. Looks okay. so like it's moving a little faster, but not quite. Alright. Can I jump up here? Is there anything cool here? Ooh, look at that. Secret! I got one of question mark. <laughs> That's pretty neat. That's pretty cool. I like that there's little tiny things like that in this game. Explore every nook and cranny of the game. Okay, I guess I'm gonna grab this book now. I have a Lumo. Let's see what this says. Uh, I don't know what this thing is. Uh, yeah, continue game. I guess that's kind of a save point, maybe? Not sure. Right, we're gonna go over here because I assume going up here will potentially give me bring me to another secret area, maybe. Yes, it will. Hey, another. Oh, it's a cassette tape. Okay. I wonder if it's like if, I wonder if it's like a, a cassette tape for like old um, what do you call it, like old cassettes that you had to put into your computer. That would be pretty neat. Obviously, can't get in there yet because I don't have a key. It's over here. It's another door, though. Let's go this way. Okay. It's not working. Oh, push the box? Yes, I can. Push that box. Push that box. KR and BD was here. Now yeah, they're dead. Oh, what's this book here? Oh, it's nothing. Okay. Rubber duckies. Okay, let's figure this puzzle. Oh, I assume it's gonna be this. Oh, I'm dead. I misjudged that jump. Ooh, okay. Ooh, spikes. Oh, son of a bitch, really? Oh! Oof. I don't think I jump high enough for that. I found out away from the last life, so that sucks. Oh, this isometric is fucking tricky. Okay. It's like, yeah, because it's so much fun to be like. Ah. There you go. Lost in this puzzle. Right. Oh, come on, dude. 
Thing. Do I jump higher now? Oh, I got. Oh, it's a free man. Okay. So all that was was a free person. So, according to this game, I'm gonna need this. This to give you free men, because obviously there's no uh, count on your. Uh... Ooh, God. So stressful. <laughs> uh oh. What is this? this. Yes, I love you too. Thank you, uh, creature. Uh, I can't get up here though. Fuck. Okay, let's see. So, okay, is my buddy... Oh, yay. I'm... Oh, come here. Okay, thank you, friend. Okay, let's go back across. I have to be able to jump over this. Whew, made it. Oh boy. Okay, let us go this way. Okay. Oh. Oh, hello. With the red carpet treatment. Yay! I love cassette players. Let's go here. Oh, I just can't go there. Okay. Let's ride for about eleven minutes. That ain't bad, that ain't bad. Alright, so that was just like a set deck in there. Let's get past this fire, unscathed. Can we? Oh, this long, ominous hallway. Long and ominous. Okay, so. Go down here. Kinda of tricky because you can definitely fall down and probably die if you don't make that. Okay. Uh. Hmm. Okay. Oh. Oh, okay. It's just a magic box I used to get back up there eventually. So we get two. Okay. Huh. Oh, do you maybe it's going here, jump on the box, take it, take it in there? We're gonna find out. Okay, I guess not. That's a neat puzzle. Wait, hold on. Was I... Uh... Uh... Oh. Ah, alright, I kind of... Okay, so... Okay, gotta be careful with these spiked balls, I assume. They will likely kill you. <sighs> Stiffles. I definitely want that free man. Free man, free hat. There you want to call it. Got the free man. Uh, okay, 
gonna have to reset this room, I guess. Let's reset the room. Reset, reset, reset the room. Be careful of the spiked balls. Yeah, tape deck! They even tell you how many tape decks you need. I guess you need a lot. Alright. Oh, what's going on here? Oh, it's an elevator. Going to heaven. Elevator Muzak. Do, 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 do. Like Tom Jones. Oh, okay, we got. Oh, a wrench. Oh, uh. What the hell? Did I think. Oh, oh. You. Okay, a toaster, I guess. You can't touch the toaster? That makes no sense to me. Okay, I got a, uh. a wrench. Okay, because the game was very, yeah, the game told you exactly not to touch the fucking wrench. Stupid game. Makes no sense. I don't know if that's somebody you gotta fix, but whatever. No idea. Zero idea. Mm. This looks like the... Yeah, this looks like a thing. Can you read that? No, it just looks like something you can, but you can't. Okay, so I already walked there to get that tape, so... Go back in here. Oh, I gotta reload it. Oh, okay. I guess I was... I guess I, I made the jump. That's the only thing I could think of, really. Okay, let's see what's in this room. Since I have a wrench. Okay, this is a boiler room. I don't trust this. Better jump over, because you could die from running in the pipes. I guess. Sometimes. <laughs> Who knows? Oh, I have the wrench. Yay, I fixed something. Yay, boxes. Oh. Look at that. Now I can go back to that room and use it. How neat for me. How neat. Oh boy, here we go. Of course, why would this should be easy? Okay. Let's wait our turn here. Because I don't want to fuck this up. Because I got no lives left. We made it. Don't know what. No, whatever. Who cares? That is what that is. Really go for an extra man or extra hat or whatever you want to call it. Oh, you go here and here. Or here. Damn it. Or here. Or here. Oh, fuck you, isometric. Go! Uh. Alright, don't need that right now. Yay, I can go to where I need to go. Hooray! Next part. Yay, steam. Give me steam. Oof. Man. You gotta be on point with the fucking stop and start some of this. There's a root. A tree grows in Brooklyn. Oh, this is fun. Yep, spiked balls. I have a feeling, sneaking suspicion, that if I jump on that it will dissipate, but we're gonna see. Ugh. Game is 
tricky fun, but definitely tricky. Oh boy. This is like the platforming in Super Mario RPG for the most part that was very like tricky and awkward. But you just have to kind of know your shadows and other stuff, so I made it. Anything in here? Nope. We're just gonna jump on this lift. Lift, lift, lift. Okay, going about 20 minutes strong here. I haven't had to continue yet. Yay, the key! I needed that key! I got that key! Now I can go to where the key was. Alright, come over here, I love you. Hey, thank you, love box. Oh, fuck. Ooh. I hate that fucking room. That room sucks so much dick. Who are JR and BD? I wanna know who those guys are. Okay. So, heading back to where the key was. Yes! I have a key for you! Oh, Ben! Alright, come over here. I love you. Yes, thank you. Hmm. Okay. How do we get this thing? quite get this puzzle. Why is this thing weird? Wait. Wake up! Come here! Oh my god. Why is this thing so obnoxiously stupid? Come this way! Stupid box! when your Xbox is like retarded and like listens to every single thing you say. Uh, I'm trying to think of how this works. Alright, you come here. Come, come, come. Don't be stupid, come. Yes. Hit it out. Well, I don't know. I don't know what this means. Oh yeah! Holy hoppos! Ooh, one gigabyte. That's huge. Take your brain to another dimension. I take your brain to another dimension. I take your brain to another dimension. Dimension. Okay, cool. So, um, I got one part 
of the game. SD or not SD, nice. Collect the SD card. So apparently that was an SD card. <laughs> so <laughs> that is pretty cool. Okay, so uh, okay, so there's a new mechanic. Okay. Do it quick enough, okay. So that's a cool new mechanic. Like, I don't want, I want the duckies, but I don't know how to get them. But if I, I'm gonna jump in the water and kill myself, not yet at least. Okay, uh, let's see what we got here. Okay, a free man, which I need desperately. Oh, damn it. Job! Yes. Needed that. What is this now? Lasers, huh? Go! So yeah, I, I definitely am enjoying this game. This game is a lot of fun. <sighs> Except when that happens. Because you can't tell where the fucking thing is. I'm dead. Well, that's game over. Um, while exploring 53 rooms, you've collected zero ducks, found four cassettes, jumped 300 and 330, really? 335 times, well, died in seven horrible ways, and hiked 2.19 kilometers. Your total time was 25, 20. Not bad. Um, pretty fun little game. Just a cool little platformer that is... A, it's definitely tricky just because of the fact of not really completely knowing your surroundings and things like that so it uh, definitely is uh, it definitely is a little tricky just because of the fact that you can't always tell where your shadow is of where you're jumping since there isn't a very good you know you're taking a lot of it's like Qbert in a way also so it's like Qbert uh, the jumping mechanics in Super Mario RPG anything that has like an isometric uh, kind of uh, situation where you're jumping but not completely understanding where you're jumping to. So, it definitely is a little bit tricky. It's kind of got that whole bastion uh, type element as well, too. So, it's cool. It's whimsical. It's super simple design, but uh, you, you have to use your brain a little bit, just like that one puzzle with the uh, block. You just had to know the proper way how to push it out without having to uh, change. But it's also nice, too, that you could exit a room, reset the room then you're good with that so um, pretty cool stuff I might try and play more of this game I'll have to really see how I feel about it but uh, it's on the Xbox uh, game program so you get the two weeks for free and uh, you know if you want to keep doing it after the two weeks it's like $9.99 which isn't so bad just to kind of try games you wouldn't really think you wanted to play or not so it's actually pretty neat and you get discounts on these games if you want to buy them if you're part of the game program so it's also a good way to kind of get additional uh you know two three four dollar discounts for certain games too so uh i'll definitely try and give this game another shot at some point just don't know when um, i have a lot of games to try and check out so uh, we'll see what happens but with that being said i'm uh, ending this and i'll see you guys uh on the next uh uh, Matt plays or simplistic gaming with Matt, whatever we're calling this uh, segment at this point now. So take it easy.